First off, welcome to my brand new series I'm titling Toontown Characters. In this series, I'm going to highlight one specific tune from the world of Toontown Online and cover them and their story in as much detail as I possibly can. If you have any idea for what tune I should do next, leave it in the comments below. And without further ado, let's cover our first tune. It's sure to be a very interesting one, it's Gyro Gear Loose. Don't worry guys, I pronounced it right this time. Some of you may wonder why I chose Gyro Gearloose as the very first character, but it's because I find this character to be one of the more interesting existing characters in all of Toontown. It'll also help build the foundation for possibly multiple future mysteries videos, so keep an eye out for those. So let's start with the beginning. We first truly learn of Gyro Gearloose and his ties to Toontown Online back in around 2002 to 2003 when Toontown featured a Flash video that played when installing the game. This video takes place supposedly in Gyro's factory or workplace or somewhere on the outskirts of Toontown. It's revealed that he's working for Scrooge McDuck and is one of his favorite employees. After Scrooge McDuck drops by unannounced, he stumbles upon a robot that Gyro had supposedly invented. Scrooge ignoring the obvious label reading Do Not Touch, he hotwired the robot and thus started a chain of events that eventually led to the overtaking of Toontown by the evil robot Cogs. But Gyro was never to be heard from, not from the video nor from the game ever again. To this day, nobody knows what had happened to Gyro, whether it was being he was just merely out at the time, or if something much more sinister had happened. But that's not the last of Gyro being featured in some form of Toontown. Gyro was frequently mentioned in various places. In 2004, Gyro randomly popped up in some form. It was in the form of a Toontown trading card. In one of the great moments in Toontown series of cards, there was a card titled, The Whole Story. The front of the card featuring a rather glee gyro gear loose working on one of his inventions. The back side of the card reads, Toons love their portable holes, but how were they invented? Gyro gear loose explains, I simply reversed the project oscillation from the distillator of my convex reoscillatory mumcatron and presto, portable hole. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Where do holes come from? Gyro explains, Donuts, old shoes, leaky buckets, the Mumcatron isn't really picky, it's a kind of a Toontown recycling. Thanks to Gyro, every tune has a hole in his or her pocket and that's the whole truth. So if you were ever wondering what happened to all of your old boots that you fished up, apparently they get made into portable holes for the tunes of Toontown. Gyro was also mentioned in the 2003-2004 to trading card series on the Burr's Playground postcard titled having an ice time at the burr. The card reads, g g greetings it's another snowy day here in the b b burr Unfortunately, that hasn't kept the c c cogs away. It's so c cold here that one of my seltzer bottles froze solid. It has snowed here every d d day for years and years. Ever since Gyro Gearloose's super duper air conditioner went crazy, it's b b been this way and no one can find it under all of the snow. One thing is for sure, Toontown wouldn't be the same without the b b burr I'm going ice fishing, see you later, by Antarctic. Gyro was mentioned once again on the 2004 card, Great Moments in Toontown, First Trolley. The card reads, Every tune in Toontown came out to see the ribbon cutting when the first Jolly Trolley came to Toontown Central. Unfortunately, it was Goofy who had laid out the trolley tracks, so you'll never know quite where you lined up. Of course, you never need to wind up a Jolly Trolley. Invented by Gyro Gearloose, they run off of laugh power. So they'll ride the rails as long as tunes keep laughing, which should be for a long, long time. Gyro was mentioned once again on the card, Great Moments in Toontown, Toon Council installs Name Generator. The card reads, What's in a name? Time was, whenever a new tune came to Toontown, the Toon Council called a meeting to approve the new name. But when the cogs came, the council got Gyro to build a name generator so they'd have more time to save Toontown. The first tune to use the generator was old Captain Fizzlebender Wrinkle Crinkle Munchkin Face Jr. who says, I'm so glad Gyro fixed the generator so tunes can have names shorter than mine. So as you can see, Gyro actually has quite a bit of backstory to how things shape up in the world of Toontown. From creating portable holes to causing the snowy environment in the burr, Inventing trolleys and the very own tune name generator I used to name my very own tune, he's been very intertwined with the backstory of a lot of features that exist in the world of Toontown. His whereabouts are unknown, but it appears he still works on inventions for the tunes of the world to this very day, wherever he may be. But if that's not enough for you, there's some bonus content for the fans of Toontown Rewritten. 
In Toontown Rewritten, most likely in order to avoid copyright, Dr. Surly is heavily, heavily influenced by Gyro Gearloose himself. Lore and backstory of Dr. Surly indicates that Dr. Surly himself is the one and only Gyro Gearloose in spiritual form. Dr. Shirley has been credited with creating portable holes, the silly meter causing the creation of cogs, the super duper air conditioner, the trolley, and many other things that Gyro Gearloose himself was originally credited with as having invented. Dr. Shirley has had a ton of fun and in-depth storyline added over the past few years in the form of the ARG that the Toontown rewritten staff have created. Numerous papers Surly himself wrote about the various things such as the Toon elections and the COG's first appearance in Toontown to details all about him on his very own Toontown rewritten trading card. Gyro Gearloose to this day lives on in the form of Dr. Surly and although things might be a little different, it's all truly inspired and all just begun from the very own backstory of Gyro Gearloose in the Toontown installer video from years ago and I think that's pretty cool. There will be more on the subject of Gyro Gearloose again in the future in some form in a future mysteries video, so keep an eye out for it and I hope you'll enjoy it once that comes out. I want to thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in my next video. Do you like what you see? Want to help me in making videos just like this one? Help support me and my videos by joining my Patreon. It's a funding website designed to allow YouTube creators just like me to gain support to be able to produce videos regularly. So if you enjoy my videos, it would mean the world to me if you could lend a hand to help me make more. I want to thank you all for watching my videos. I want to thank you all for the support. And I'll see you in my next video.